What if I told you that there's a camera that seems to be built for streamers that nobody's talking about that has clean HDMI out, it's a mirrorless camera, has interchangeable lenses, a flip out screen, and costs under $700. And spoiler, it's not a Sony. Hi friends, my name's Pastor Deuce and welcome to the channel. And I use this very camera live on stream every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday on Twitch. Link in the description down below if you'd like to come by and check it out live. But before we get into this, know that I am not a camera nerd. <laughs> this is my first real camera. Um, on stream, I've I've used everything from a C922, which is what I started streaming with. It's it's accessible. Uh, they're pretty easy to find now that uh, quarantine stuff is slowing down. Um, but I used this for a long time, and it's a great camera. Uh, you just kind of tweak the settings a little bit, and you can get a pretty good image out of that. And then after a while, I bought a Cam Link, and I moved to a GoPro 5. Uh, which is right here. This is what I used to stream for uh, about a year. And I bought this GoPro used on eBay for like 120 bucks. So between the 120 bucks for the GoPro and then a hundred dollars or so for the Cam Link 4K, 220 bucks or so, I mean, gives you a pretty good image. Uh, it's got that nice wide angle look. It's, it's a great camera and people love it. But uh, not that long ago, I upgraded to my first real camera real camera, <laughs> which is the Canon M50 Mark II. Even though the GoPro is a great camera, I always had that itch to upgrade to a mirrorless camera one day. And probably a lot like you, I was watching all the videos about what cameras different streamers and YouTubers recommended uh, to get started. And um, I would always hear one of two things. It was either a camera that was like, fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars or something or it was always a, a sony a5100 or a6100 or a6400 it was all the sony's which i've seen all the videos too i get it they're great cameras that's awesome but whenever i would go and look online to try and buy one they were never in stock and i would specifically look for the a6100 it seemed to have all the features that i wanted but it was like $850 and sold out constantly. So I continued doing some research and I learned about the Canon M50. Now the Canon M50 Mark I is a great camera, but uh, it's actually very similar to the Mark II, but it's missing one key feature and that is clean HDMI out. And as you know, as a streamer, you've got to have that clean HDMI out. That is like a necessity. Otherwise you have to like install custom firmwares and do all this garbage and no one wants to do that. Um, so, but the Mark II does have clean HDMI out, out of the box, looks great. It's what I'm using right now. That's this camera. The coolest thing is that it was in stock everywhere. My local Best Buy had it, my local Target had it. One of the big selling points for me on the M50 Mark II was that it has interchangeable lenses. Now I bought the version with the kit lens and I think it was $699. I've seen it on sale for $649 here recently, but it comes with a 15 to 45 millimeter. Um, it's a 3.5 to 6.3 aperture lens. In fact, here, let me show you what the kit lens looks like. Now this is that same 22 millimeter look on the kit lens, but uh, you can see the background isn't as blurry. I'm a lot more exposed. Um, but one of the nice things about it is you can uh, zoom all the way out to a 15 millimeter real wide angle look. Or if your camera is really far away, you could even zoom into uh, 45. Obviously mine <laughs> is too close to do that. Just for reference, the camera is just a little bit out of arm's reach for me. I mean, look at it from my point of view. The the M50, it's it's right over there. Uh, the GoPro is so close I can touch it and it still gives that super wide angle look. But the M50 being just a little bit out of arm's reach for me. Uh, and then there's the C922. And even from there with that uh, 22 millimeter lens, it gives me that that really nice um, look. What I'm currently using and what I bought was uh, the Canon uh, 22 millimeter F2 lens. And this room 
Y'all, it is a dark room. <laughs> I have a lot of light in here, but it's a pretty dark room. Um, and this wide aperture lets so much light in that it, it, it really gives a very clean image uh, and gives me that nice blurry background effect that I've always wanted because as, as nice of a camera as the GoPro is, um, it just, everything is kind of the same. It gives you kind of that, that digital, you know, phone look, um, which there's nothing wrong with that, but you just, you lose out on that, that bokeh, you know? Um, and I can't, I can't like take Goku here and put him in front of the camera and get a, a nice blurry background. I just get a dark background. <laughs> but if I try to do that on the, uh, on the Canon, um, it's got pretty good autofocus. It's a little slow, but um, it'll it'll focus really well. And this lens cost uh, 200 to 250 dollars. I think I bought it for 250. So all together with the camera and the lens, um, I was out just a little over a thousand dollars, including tax. Um, so overall, it wasn't a terribly expensive purchase, especially compared to what I would have been spending if I bought an A6100 plus uh, like the Sigma. Uh, lens that everybody recommends, you know, that's $400 plus an $850 camera if I get it in stock at MSRP, which all seemed very unlikely. Um, I'm going to be well, well over a thousand, probably uh, closer to $1,300, $1,400 after tax. The M50 Mark II isn't all sunshine and rainbows, though. It does have a couple of limitations. Um, for one, it's uh, not a full frame camera, it's a crop sensor. Um, it can't shoot in 4K. Well, I say it can't. I mean, it technically can, but it only shoots in 24 FPS, which isn't super useful for streaming. Um, but if you do shoot in the 4K mode, it takes that crop sensor and adds an additional crop on top of it. Um, you know, that's about all the negatives I can really think of from a streamer's perspective. Uh, you get what you pay for. You know, it's it's not going to be the, the greatest camera ever created. It's a beginner's uh, photography and videography camera, but for the purposes of a live stream on Twitch or YouTube, it's really pretty ideal in my opinion. Um, it's got, like I said, the clean HDMI out. It's got interchangeable lenses depending on your uh, room situation and uh, your lighting needs and those kind of things. Um, it uses a micro HDMI out. Um, it takes a dummy battery. It It's really pretty uh, simple as far as using it for streaming. I just set it up right here and I leave it alone. I, I never touch it. Uh, I just have the little flip out screen on um, plug it in, it's going into the Cam Link 4K, and I pretty much, once I got all the settings right, like the exposure and aperture and ISO and blah blah blah, all those kind of things, I just set it and forget it. And that's pretty much what you want in a camera for streaming, is one you don't have to think about that much. So I can't, I can't recommend the M50 Mark II highly enough. Um, I'll leave links in the description down below if you'd like to check it out or look into it. Um, I'll also leave a link for the lens that I use. It's perfect for my room and I read some other or watched some other reviews on this particular lens and in every lighting situation I've seen it's been excellent. Well friends I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you got some value out of this please like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell so you're notified of all upcoming videos. And uh, again, I'll remind you that I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. I'd love to see you there live in stream. We could talk about cameras. We could talk about the C922, the GoPro, and of course, the Canon M50 Mark II. Um, but I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you for stopping by.